Hello YouTubers, Jason with Innovations Technology Group here today making this video for you. I hope this is uh, informative as I'm trying to release videos that are helpful and give you information you may need to make a good decision. Uh, today I'm responding to a previous video I made where I unboxed the Linksys Atlas Max 6E tri-band mesh Wi-Fi system. Uh, I'll put a link to that video in the description below. But I wanted to do a follow-up video as I've had some issues with the Linksys system. So I purchased this product and unboxed it and put the video up on YouTube the same day. That was November 28th. Uh, today it's January the 5th, 2022, and having had it for a couple of months now, there are some problems that need to get hashed out. Uh, one of the issues I had initially was even being in the same room with the Wi-Fi device and only having one of the three units plugged in, I was consistently being switched to the 2.4 gigahertz band. Now on this band with my laptop here, uh, I was only getting around 144 megabits per second, which is slow considering I have a 600 megabit per second internet connection. Uh, because of this, uh, I went into the Linksys software, I decided to separate the bands, and this was pretty easy to do, and so I set it up so that each band had its own uh, SSID, and I could decide which band I wanted to connect to. So I created the ITG6E for the 2.4 gigahertz band, ITGE, excuse me, ITG6E-5 for the 5 gigahertz band, and ITG6E-6 for the 6 gigahertz band. Now I thought to myself, okay, great. Now I can keep things like my Amazon Echo on the 2.4 gigahertz band and some other low bandwidth things and move my laptops and phones over to the 5 gigahertz band. Uh, well, that didn't work out because come to find out, I was dropping my connection all the time on the 5 gigahertz band. So usually between one to two minutes, I would get disconnected from the Wi-Fi and then it would reconnect. But the problem was I would get disconnected for around five to 10 seconds before it would reconnect. So it was causing me all kinds of issues. Now, I know it could just be my laptop and even with the results I'm gonna show you today, you'd think that, but this is happening on my two Windows laptops and both of those happen to be Asus laptops with an Intel Wi-Fi AX201 cards in them. But I also have my MacBook Pro that was connected with 802.11ac instead of my Asus laptops using AX. And then my Surface Pro 8, which also has an Intel Wi-Fi AX201 card in it, along with my Surface Duo phone and my iPhones. So this connect, disconnect issue was uh, happening on all my devices. So the unit you see me unboxing was actually boxed back up and sent back to Best Buy because to me, I thought there was a problem with it. Everything I was reading at the time on the internet was a different issue where things would be slow with certain ISPs, but for me, it was just disconnecting. So I thought maybe I had a defective unit. So I swapped it out and Best Buy had another unit. Unfortunately, this unit also had the same issue. And it's the unit I have right now. I don't know if you can see that over here somewhere. Uh, I made sure all my devices were up to date and drivers and such, and, and also made sure the Linksys mesh system was up to date, and the issue was the same. It would connect at a 1.2 gigahertz, or excuse me, 1.2 gigabits per second, and then it would eventually just die, and then five, 10 seconds later, it would reconnect. To resolve the issue, I was forced to keeping everything connected to the 2.4 gigahertz network, which surprisingly stayed connected all the time with no issues. No issues at all. In fact, it was just a little slow because it was on the slower network. Uh, I even plugged in my main machine to a USB Ethernet adapter in order to get faster download speeds. You know, I, I do a lot of downloading, so I wanted to be able to utilize my 600 megabits down that I currently pay for with my ISP. So after a comment on my YouTube unboxing video yesterday, I decided to go and look to see if there was any update for the Linksys or my network cards on my Asus laptops. And sure enough, there was an update to the AX201 card from Intel. Uh, it's version 22.100.1.1. I, I downloaded this update. I decided to give my five gigahertz network a try even though I truly believe the disconnect issue is an issue with uh, Linksys because it's happening on all my devices, unless for some weird, strange coincidence, all the devices I mentioned above, my MacBook, my iPhones, my Surface Duo, if they just happen to have the same Intel card in them, then maybe it is an Intel issue. But I really, truly believe it's the Linksys. Uh, but as you can see on my screen after updating the device, 
I've been connected for over 16 hours uh, without it disconnecting. And when it was disconnecting before, it would reset this duration back to zero. So as you can see also uh, from the speeds listed here, it's only getting about half the speed that I should be getting, or, or at least before I up to the drivers, it would connect at 1.2 gigabits per second, and it would get those it would get those 600 megabits per second from my internet provider until it disconnected. Uh, but now the fastest I've actually seen is 721 megabits, and it fluctuates. Uh, so I'm hoping that Linksys comes out with an update, and maybe Intel comes out with another update because. This update Intel released has definitely made it stable as far as disconnecting issues uh, with this laptop. Now, I haven't gone back and tested it on the MacBook Pro or anything like that, but, you know, I, I just we will just have to test it and see. Maybe I'll uh, test that when I get a chance and leave some comments. But um, I'll leave some comments in the video below as I do have updates and hopefully keep everyone up to date on any other issues I may find. Or as things get resolved, you know, I'll post it here too. Uh, if you guys have any questions about what I'm going through with this product or if you have any comments, please just leave them in the comment section below. I do watch for comments and, and will reply. And thanks for watching this video. Hopefully uh, I'll get a chance to make some additional videos in the future. And uh, I appreciate everyone here. So go and have a great day and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye now.